100 games for the Sydney Roosters. Yeah, and what a milestone it is. Only the fourth player in the Roosters to do it in front of three legends, Luke Rickardson, Kevin Hastings and Brad Fittler. So, look, he's been around for ages. He fought his way back in the state of origin this year. I thought he was the best performer for, for New South Wales in Game 3. Very solid game, him and Denny Badiris. And he'll be looking to go out and win it with the Roosters in the next couple of seasons. A lot of conjecture about Craig's future. As we have a look at here, at the future of the club, many say, young Mitchell Pearce. But Craig Fitzgibbon, of course, coming to terms, he will play in Season 09 for the Tri-Colours. They came into the round in third spot on the competition ladder, coming in on 16th spot. This side, they are the North Queensland Cowboys, and led onto the field by their captain, Aaron Payne. But it's not Aaron Payne tonight. All eyes are on Stuart Raper. It is very much a night. We look at this man, Luke O'Donnell. Yes, after seven matches out with suspension, he has two big reasons, I believe, to play well tonight. One, he wants to inspire his side to get them on off their losing streak. And number two, after being selected in the Australian squad on Friday, he'll be wanting to show the selectors he's only got six games left to prove his worth and get himself back in that Australian jumper. Ricky Stewart has said you'll get selected in the side to play if you're informed that Luke O'Donnell at this point in time in the 46-man squad very much on reputation. Our referee is Sean Hampstead into his 287th first grade game. And we are underway live on Super Saturday as the third place Sydney Roosters on the road up against the 16th place North Queensland Cowboys. The Roosters with first years of the football and Marco Mealy taking it out to the 20 metre line on the opening ruck. Strong Cowboys defence, two men in the tackle. The form of Harlan Webb was on Perrot. Here is Anthony Tupo playing tight in this opening set and up to the 40 metre line. So an average of 10 metres per hit up so far from the tri colours. O'Mealy goes in for his second dig this opening set. Brought down just short of halfway. Nasta wraps around the ruck and puts boot to ball down an empty left corridor. Old Ashley Graham was forced to cover plenty of room, but the chasing side in front of the kicker not allowing the 10 metres. So a good set from the Roosters, cruel, just I guess by over enthusiasm, Gordy. Look, well, the Roosters make a habit of this. When they play their, the marquee sides, they're always on song. That's just attention to detail so early in the game. That's not going to make Brad Fittler happy. Now, no George Gaddis for the North Queensland Cowboys. He was named at nine, Aaron Payne at halfback, but you can see clearly Aaron Payne slotting into that position at dummy half already. As the Cowboys look to the left, they do so through Ashley Graham. Travis Burns in sixes now at dummy half. He'll be playing seven over the course of the night as the ball goes to Luke O'Donnell, his first touch of the football in some seven weeks. Payne to Webb. Webb and Mason collide for the first time tonight. Riley Brown was also involved in the tackle. Webb rockets a ball. Very good defence. It was four on four. Soliola on Harris. Last tackle here for the Cowboys and a very easy turnover from Travis Burns. Attention to detail and execution. It is what has crueled them over the last three months. Tupo. Dummies on the outside to Soliola. Takes the line himself. Marlon. Primary tackler there. And Asta goes around the ruck to link up with his four in Soliola. Big strong left centre for the Roosters. Destined for the back row, many suggest. And aren't they going to have some back rowers? Both Soliola and Sedamata Saras. The birth certificate gets a little older. They will creep a tighter into the field. Fitzgibbon, good ball to Warberson. Fitzgibbon again to Mitchell Pearce. Final play. Good gain of 71 metres. And a test here. The Cowboys and coming down very awkwardly on the far side of the field was Johnny Williams. It was the Roosters score more tries than any other side in the competition from the kicking game, and it was well put 
couple of metres off the line. I think Burns and Hatch actually tackled him and they relieve the pressure now. Locked Soliola in. just working him on the ground. Roosters are doing the hard work from the back end of their own field, but they're allowing the Cowboys in these opening two sets to gain the ascendancy as far as the territorial advantage goes. So Payne will restart right on halfway. This is big Shane Tronk. Gets through amazing statistics for a big man. Tackle on the 40, centre field. Now Payne from dummy half, links with Burns. Further wide to Falmawina. In that second touch area tonight for the Cowboys, playing at pivot. O'Donnell moves to dummy half. They're looking at the short side, and they come this way through Burns. Back to Ashley Graham. A hint of a shepherd there with Mark Henry moving into the defensive line before the ball carriers. It goes from Burns. Deep and wide was Carl Webb. Centre field now, the Cowboys. Tackle number four, just 15 metres out from the try line. Payne, short ball to Southern. It was flat too. Burns is near side, that's the way they'll come. Trying to slide it through, does so, into the very capable hands. Sammy Perrett. Well, it was a poor finish to a construction set there by the Cowboys. They worked them over, they worked the wrists over. The kick's just got to be a, you know, mate, not that I was a kicker, but you just got to put more pressure on the fullback. Semi Perrett was waiting there and made good yards, got out of the end goal quite easily. Across the field we go to Soliola. Still looking at his left hand side. Anasta. Goes to the 12 again in Tupo. Finally dropped to a horizontal position under the weight of a four-man tackle. Last tackle now for the Roosters. They go to Anasta and he goes to the air. Test for Ty Williams. Testy is up to a very good take by the left winger for the Cowboys under the pressure of several white jerseys. The well, the Roosters again. They make so many metres they can have oh. attacking kick. Henry goes through on a little scoot from dummy half, but the Roosters, they just... End up in the good wall area all oh, the time. Oh, oh, oh. Good shot. It was Soliola on Falmawina. Payne. Straight to the ditch area just behind the markers. And exposing a weakness there. Look at this one. You could feel that around Dairy Farmer Stadium. Up quickly was Orbison on Graham. He got the ball back to Burns. And Travis not having a good start to the night with the hands. That's two drops as Amos Roberts on the zero tackle plays it right on halfway. Mason, much to the delight of the crowd upended. Plenty of encouragement from Carl Webb, Luke O'Donnell and Travis Burns all involved in the tackle. Mitchell Pearce dumped by Burns and the two of them almost square off. Away from the football. This is Pierce again, quickly to his feet. Now to Mason. Step left pretty quickly there. Did Big Willie Mason just to move away from some of the bigger boys in the defensive line. Pierce across field to Anasta. Steps off the left foot. Anasta back to Pierce. He steps. He scores. That was the fourth tackle. Just set the ground in there. Make sure he didn't lose it. Between them, Braith and Asta and Mitchell Pearce have put on so many tries this year for the Roosters. 35 try assists out of 74 tries. And Mitchell Pearce is going to be awarded his fourth of the year. Well, just where you don't want a side to come through is in the middle of the ruck. Braith and Asta just straightens and links with his halfback. I don't think there's any problems with the grounding. That's a try. It looked like that he lost control, but he didn't. You're allowed to ground the ball with the forearms these days. As a, I think the Cowboys were waiting for the kick, Andy, or, or like a nasty to go out wide. They didn't move up. They stopped moving up. Tim Mander is our video referee, and he says it's all good. So Mitchell Pearce claims his fourth of the year. And a positive offensive start for the Roosters.
And you just get caught. Aaron Payne just got caught going sideways. And the footwork, Ash Graham, he just had to attack Pierce. He did, but great footwork by Mitchell Pierce. Brayton Asher just straightens off the left foot as he does so many times. And Mitchell Pierce, he found the try line. Good step on him too, Mitchell Pierce. Like we wrap Braith there for his step. Mitchell equally as good off the right boot. I'm assuming he got that from Mum Terry, not Father. <laughs> well, as Craig Fitzgibbon adds the extras, tries like Adder scored so late, so late in the halves, but they just did it so early, just straightened. Let's go down to the sideline, Stuart Raper. Already we've seen the uh, the difficulty in the Travis Burns uh, has at the moment. He's, he's put in a couple of poor kicks. He's come up with a couple of errors and a lot of pressure put upon him. And you don't know if they've trained this way this week or if Aaron Payne's trained at seven. So already there's a bit of disruption in the Cowboys and something look, they'll have to look to fix. Got a fellow Stavey on the kicker while he kicks it. Nightmare start for the Cowboys. That is exactly what they were looking to avoid. Confidence is down within the club. The return of Luke O'Donnell has certainly given them a spring in the step. One man alone can't fix the problems that this club has faced over the course of the year. But you think in a season that has pretty much ended already for the Cowboys, you throw a couple of the young, the young under-20s in there, especially a halfback. Aaron Payne is the best number nine that this club's got. And he's probably the best number nine at, or second best number nine in Queensland. But last week he didn't run the ball once playing them playing number seven for the Cowboys and that's what he's good at doing getting out and darting he needs to do that tonight keep the big roosters forwards on us it's a theory I guess Ian Millwood has, has tossed around over the course of the last week very much in the same vein as Tim Sheens has over the last couple of weeks with uh, like Robbie Farrah as a top shelf number nine moving Aaron Payne to seven now we've seen halfbacks make good hookers but can a good hooker make a good half well i think they th look i think cameron smith would make a great half and i think that they would but it takes an off season i think to develop that's what aaron payne's good at in around the rough darting and scheme and getting out a dummy half when they're lazy at marker that's a penalty and that's what you took away from them last week andy penalty to the cowboys what is the mindset they're going to attack. take it to the line. They have to attack. They are going to need plenty of points to stop this Rooster side that last week were 34 points to 12 victors over the Manly Seagulls. It was in difficult conditions at the Sydney Football Stadium and the Roosters stood up. First win in a couple of weeks for the Tri-Colours. Thalmawina goes to Webb. Short ball and the try for the Cowboys. Luke Harlan on the end of a great little Carl Webb hip ball. Two tries, the only 11 minutes. He just ran a great line. I think it was Dane Weston. You hard to tell he's done, but just good hard running. Carl Webb, just a short ball through Braith and Nasta. He's complaining about the forward pass. Make the tackle and let him ref Braith. It certainly was Dane Weston. I think he surprised yeah. him. There was a bit of movement at the back. There was a fair bit of movement at the back, which made Braith stop in an arm tackle, and a good hard running forward will always breed an arm tackle. A yeah, good try and good running from Dane Weston, the former Shark. Named it hooker tonight, but running in the second row on that right-hand side of the field. What a good ball from the inside man there. Well, Carl Webb, he's not used to passing and surprise element and he can do it. That's, that's one thing where the game evolved with the back rowers and the front rowers. They all got a great passing game now. Yep. Same Webke, even, even <laughs> he didn't pass much, but when he did, it's just so effective because you're not used to it. Johnny Williams, the former Hills Bull. Yep. He slots the extra six apiece after 12 minutes, Stuart. Yeah, that's right. Well, the Cowboys there have just done the play that the Roosters are very famous for. And who, do they, who does it on them? Tupo and Anasta. You'd think that they would be aware of that, that situation. Anasta didn't read it and probably played too much into thinking it was a forward pass. There wasn't a lot in it. I think the Cowboys fans and players and officials will tell you it was flat, but bordering forward. Look, there was a question mark over it, but the pass was that short. Yeah. yeah, it's very hard for the referee to pick up. Graham fields it and hands it properly off to Tronk, and he was aimed up by Marco O'Mealy, the Shrek looking to put a big shot on. 
Fitzgibbon and Shillington end up affecting the tackle as the three. Mark Henry grabs a crossfield, re-signed. Only recently Mark Henry. Here is Luke O'Donnell. And again, it's Fitzgibbon. That really should come as no surprise. Mason involved in the tackle as well. And here is Webb. Finally wrestled to the ground. They get him over onto his back. Back to Payne. Onto Burns inside the 40 and got plenty of that with the boot. Looking for the bounce, but the bounce is in favour of the Roosters and Brent Gross on that left wing tonight with Sam Perrot at fullback. This is Perrot. Buckled under the weight there. Good Shane Trong tackle. Awkward play the ball as Brent Gross does the work of his back rowers there. To Mitchell Pearson, Craig Fitzgibbon, one wide of the ruck, a good ball to Orbison, equally as good to Amos Roberts, O'Donnell trying to match him, he can't, Roberts steps, slides and is tackled, a great tackle it was from Mark Henry as well. The Roosters tackle number four, two metres out from the line, Pearce back to Anasta, on to Orbison, and perhaps the wrong direction that time for the Roosters if they could have it over again. Now to Anasta. Rubbering through, and a poor knock on from Ashley Graham at the back. Moving now. Directly to Mark O'Mealy. It wasn't a great kick from an Asta, and one that should have been eaten up. It's the rush of blood there from young Mitchell Pierce. A forward pass before the first tackle. Well, well the Cowboys, though, have gone for all money after Roberts made that break down the right-hand side. Great ball from Orbison. Fitzgibbon made the overlap. Too much speed, Amos Roberts. The Cowboys were gone, but they came back to short side. They just made a meal of it after the, the Cowboys gave them a repeat set. They just had to get more depth there, the Roosters. It's like they're showing them no respect at the moment. Here you go, Fitzy, lock it in. Go well. You've got to get your head in the scrum for a start. And put your arm around. Get your other arm around. Yeah, I get you. annoyed with refs telling people how to pack scrums. Do you think Sean Hampstead ever packed into a scrum in his younger days? Well, he would have cauliflowers if he did. Roger that. Now forced to work it out from the back end of their own field. Uh, the Cowboys hitting a good front on shot. That was solid contact on Luke O'Donnell from the Canberra bound David Shillington. Once again, it's Webb who runs into the right shoulder of Riley Brown. And another old schooler in Mark O'Mealy. Good work again from Payne. Feeding the ball to Tronk around the ruck they went. Held vertically to Travis Burns. He's got a great long kick on him, Travis Burns. Doesn't get a great bounce, but it is good for Gross, who calls Perrick, tells him to take it into the line. Simple little run around there. It ends up back with the number one, who is playing on the left wing tonight. It is Perrick now in five, playing at fullback for the Roosters. 22 metres out from their own line, Robbers. To an Asta. Two post. Dummies again on the outside. Had Brent Gross there, so to see a Soliola. Again, they persist with that left fringe. That's seeing an area of vulnerability in the Cowboys' defensive line on that right hand side. Anasta, slow to the line to Pierce, who accelerates, but is taken and taken well by O'Donnell. Final tackle for the visitors. Too much on this one from Braith and Asta. Not such a bad result as we see Jonathan Thurston watching on a smile on the face at six points all. Hasn't been a lot to smile about over the past 12 weeks. Maybe you'd have a bigger smile on your face if he's out there playing and you know the Cowboys don't they need a player like him out there at the moment but to do what they've been doing, you've got to give the Cowboys a little bit of rap because the Titans have four out. They get beaten by 50. I saw the Roosters go to Brookvale about six weeks ago and have four out and get 50 put on them. Yep. There hasn't been that scoreline yet. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing them because I can stop a train, but they haven't been winning games. They've got a hell of a losing streak they've put together, but they've been competitive. Here we go. Found Marina had to juggle to O'Donnell. There was a four on two overlap. They persist with this left side. 
Roberts with the intercept there and dragged into touch, but was in a second motion. Noah's the call. So a hint of luck for the Cowboys, and they'll take it where they can get it. Well, it was a bit of luck. Big Ray Cashmere come on and found himself running as a three-quarter. There's a fair bit of working on the ground there. Yeah. I, I think the bad. Cowboys can find themselves very lucky there. The Roosters, unlucky not to get a penalty. Right, fellas, down we go. Yes, I put four locks are in. Lock it in. Arms around. Okay. Down. Again, short side of work play into the hands of Ty Williams. Don't work him. Stand up with it. You won't get it, Todd. Was well read defensively by Mitchell Pearce and Willie Mason from the right hand side of the scrum. Just settling it forward is Steve Southern, tackled just shy of the 40 metre line. This is Payne, dummies to Tronk, goes to the outside man in Burns, he goes to Fama Wiener. Ashley Graham leaves it behind, circles back, heads centre field, and the Roosters maintain their defensive shape. So, not a penalty there for Graham for leaving the ball behind him. Cashmere returning the ball to Payne now to Tronk. Isn't there some kilos on the paddock? For the North Queensland Cowboys. Burns, O'Donnell, into the line and into Willie Mason and David Shillington. Last tackle now for the home side. It is six points all. They go to Travis Burns. He pops it over the top, looking for Mark Henry. Mark Henry scores! Pointing to the spot is Sean Hampstead. Individual work from Mark Henry, first class. Well, I thought it was going to be a penalty for attacking him in the air, but they'll both going for the football. To the naked eye, I thought Perrot had it on the ground. Mark Henry took it and did so without any problem in the world. Great little play there by Burns. Perrot gets higher than him. Just beat him to the punch. That's a Showing urgency, showing commitment. Just wanted to beat him to the football. That yep. was great urgency. How close do you want to get on Fox Sports? Taking you almost inside the North Queensland huddle. And it is John Williams again to attempt the shot at goal. 11 conversions so far this season. He's 23 metres back, almost, and probably eight metres in from touch. On the preferred side for a right foot kicker. Strikes it well, just a little short and a little wide. So the scoreline remains 10 points to six, Stewart. Yeah, with Aaron Payne going back to his... Uh good position of hooker. It's allowing Travis Burns to run the show. But it's really interesting to see uh, Fal Falmawina. He's playing both left and right side of the ruck and it's giving some options either side of the ruck for the Cowboys and they seem to be attacking on uh, both sides of the ruck. More of a roving commission perhaps tonight for Sione at that second well, touch area. While he kicks it. Charging downfield. The white jerseys of the Sydney Roosters. Meeting Ray Cashmere 13 metres out from his own line. And again, the Roosters big men looking to put a shoulder charge on the first ball carrier from the restart. Everyone except Craig Fitzgibbon. And the shoulder charges have been missing. Fitzgibbon hasn't been. As a result, he's moved into double figures as far as tackles go. Payne through the centre. Now to Ashley Graham. Steps one. And has collared from behind in some desperate defence from the Roosters. It was Soliola in four. They've come left. Back inside to Kashmir. Now to Payne. Burns across field. Over the top he goes. Harris. This is good work from the Cowboys. Good ball movement laterally. They're also moving it downfield. John Williams plays the ball back. Now to Travis Burns. Takes the line on himself. Played a little bit of football pre-line there. 
The Roosters are vulnerable wide on this side of the football field. That's the way they come through Falmawina. A well-weighted kick, they fly high, and perhaps they've got another try. That'll be six again. Just check it went backwards, it was a try, which I think it did. Luke O'Donnell's claiming this one. <laughs> Mate, I'd be claiming anything if I was being out for seven weeks. But haven't the big man been giving the Roosters some problems up the middle of the rut? Since Ray Cashmere come on Tronk, they're getting unloads. The Roosters aren't aggressive in defence. Popping the ball at the back, Aaron Payne with his speed and his footwork. Now everyone's on side, so first box tick there. And we are checking to see if there's a knock on at the contact. This will give us a better indication. Definitely back. That's gone back from O'Donnell and for mine. That's a try. That's a try. And it's to start what the Cowboys needed, Andy Raymond, to get confidence, to get their way into the game. Luke O'Donnell, he'll take it. Married in the off-season, but what a year. In fact, what an 18 months it's been for Luke. Spent majority on the sideline with injury and then suspension. He gets a four-pointer tonight. When he was at the Tigers, he was nicknamed Brains. Not exactly sure why. <laughs> has changed the nickname himself to Duda. No one really knows why either. But <laughs> Brains, Duda, O'Donnell, whatever you like, he's got a try here tonight. Oh, well, he's a player that the Cowboys have been lacking. Just a bloke that can hit you on the fringes to give you another option. The Cowboys have been lacking attacking options in the last couple of weeks. Just the presence he's got. Yep. Just the attraction that he does. He, he just makes defenders sit up and take notice. It's good to see him back on the field. It's good to see him getting a reward for the hard work that obviously seven weeks is a long time on the sideline to be training by yourself Andy. You're probably delighted but Craig Bellamy and anyone from south of the border would have loved Luke O'Donnell in a sky blue jersey this year. Speak about players tailor made for that environment and that arena that is Luke O'Donnell. Yep. Johnny Williams he raises the flags. A little bit of commentary there from Sean Hampstead, who agreed it was pretty good. And the scoreline is 16 points to six. Three tries to one. Another restart for the Roosters. Well, Phil, no starts. They've condensed their line. Frank Gross on that far wing is 20 metres in from the sidelines. So they've really shut the line down, trying to concentrate on control in the middle third of the field. One of the two payer boys, Lapini, is on. So to Anthony Cherrington, Mark O'Mealy, and big Dave Shillington are off. In fact, the whole front row is off because Riley Brown has also found a seat on the interchange. James Orbison in 20 has been thrown into action. Here is Kashmir, Big Ray, the Campbelltown Colossus. Tackle by Big Willie, Willie Mason. Just, isn't there some size out on the footy field? <laughs> I mean, you, you just forget how big some of these guys are. Brent Gross taking it into the line in an effective line. It was led by Ben Harris. Former Bulldog, spent some time in the UK Super League. Good field position. Early in the set now for the Tri-Colours. This is Cherrington, very effective as a rookie on that left fringe. But very slow to his feet too. This is Paya, Lapini. 20 metres out, held in the vertical position across field. Orbison links with Pierce and onto an Astor in the second touch area. And a good shot put on it was Sione Falmawina. Then they go short side Orbison. Did too much on it again from the Roosters. A free 20 metres for the Cowboys. There were good defence there by the Cowboys. Great shot by Fayama Wiener. There it is here. Brayton has to go on across and straightens. Great head lead. Now that's a tackle. He didn't have to wrestle after that hit. It'd be nice if the coach 
coaches were, were teaching that, but getting actually tackling. Trevor Gilmois is a bloke like that in there. <laughs> you saw the volume of possession weighted heavily in favour of the North Queensland Cowboys, creeping up to near 60% of the football, and they are numbers very difficult to coach or play against. Well, it's probably a letdown for the Roosters. They've, they've had indifferent form. Last Sunday, they had put in a, a five-star performance yeah, against Manly, against the heavyweights of the competition. They come up here to the Cowboys that have been struggling. Do they believe their own press? Well, if they have, it's an Anthony Mundine. They've been knocked down in the third round. They've got to get up and fight their way back into this and obviously win on points. It's not going to be convincing. But they've got to start rolling up their sleeves, the Roosters. Here goes the chase led again by Ben Harris. But unfortunately for Ben, he looked around and there were very few teammates there to support him. So the Roosters able to get out of their 10-metre zone. Good metres made here by Sammy Perrett. Tupo, Tupo to Willie Mason. And here goes the rated R superstar. He has support with him in the form of Pierce that takes the line himself. Good tackle from Aaron Payne. Pierce throws it wide. Linking with the 16, it is Cherrington. Tackle number four here for the Roosters. They are behind 16 points to six. A cross field to Orbison, first receiver, Anaska. It's on for the Roosters. Oh, so easy, and Mitchell Orbison scores their second try of the night. Well, Willie Mason, Willie Mason set it up and did it brilliantly in that middle section of the field. Well, it was a great ball, just a great hole by Willie Mason, as all forwards do. He didn't set up his support, he just kept on running flat out. Someone with a bit of class, not saying Willie hasn't got class, but they would have set up his support, but they took their ropes and Braith and Nashta cut out ball. The only bloke that could have tackled him was Amos Roberts. I don't know what he was doing there. But the Roosters hit back. A started there in 20 by James Orbison. Good vision by Braith and Nashta. A great pass to his number three on this right-hand side. The Orbison boys reunited at the Bondi base. But that's just Willie Mason at his best, and he's just getting on the fringes, running a great line. And breaking the tackle just so easily. <laughs> well, wouldn't you? What, 116 kilos, six foot five? Lifts his knees up to about everybody else's rib cage, so you're not going to go <laughs> low on him. You go high and he bumps you off. You know the old cliche, the bigger they are, Gordy. Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, I know. It's the harder <laughs> they hit and the harder they run. <laughs> Craig Fitzgibbon taking his time here with uh, with the goal kick is only just forming the team now. What a game, what a night, what a celebration for Craig Fitzgibbon. 200 games for the Tricolours tonight, just the fourth man at the club to do so. This is a club and the only club that have competed in every year since 1908. And before him, Luke Rickardson. Kevin Hastings and tonight's coach Brad Fittler have broken that 200-game barrier for the Tricolours. Craig joins a very elite club and is thoroughly deserving. Yeah, no. uh, we've wrapped him up <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> Craig Fitzgibbon's actually claiming to the referee that... Missed. He got the goal. Really They're still arguing as they move back to halfway. It swung really late and missed. <laughs> uh, the tricks you get. In or out? What's your call around Australia? Nah, no goal. 200 games for the Roosters and that man trying to just con the veteran referee. Oh, Payer. That's a carry. Oh, isn't it what? And he's left a little trail of destruction. John Williams only just getting back into the line and a very sick little puppy. And here he goes again. That's what you want coming off your bench. You want someone that comes on, lifts the tempo. He saw his boards were flat before him. That the Cowboys were getting over the top of him. Get out of my road. 
Runs with plenty of energy, plenty of enthusiasm, and surprising speed for such a big unit. Pierce outside the 40, and down to Williams. It's probably still a little bit shaky after being used as a speed bump by Lapini Payer. And he looks up, and guess who's there? The big number 14 again. This is Ashley Graham. The crucial nine minutes is for the Cowboys. Lead three tries to one. It is now three tries to two. Just a converted try, the difference, as O'Donnell takes it to ground. His sixth hit up of the evening. As Ty Williams tossed onto his back by Mitchell Pearce. Great technique from the number seven in that front on shot. 16 is Big Ben Vayu. You can hear the calls of grapple there from the Cowboys. Wait, he's next. Silly Penny on the left. And it was spotted on this near side by touchy Jeff Eunice and called to our referee. Well, if the Roosters did have a hangover from last week, they've just started to bump out of it. You can see that their intensity's lifted a bit of, little bit of work on the ground. Craig Fitzgibbon. <laughs> Teaching an old dog some new tricks. He's been going to the wrestling coach. Oh, Steve Southern. Backslam wrestling style, if you like. Pain to where Burns, should I say. And an easy mark that time was found Moena. A very quick play the ball. But unfortunately, there was no one home for the Cowboys. Just lacking a little direction this set. Pain calling the shots to Vayu. An old-fashioned settler. Nothing wrong with it on... The fourth tackle to the line, a cutout ball for Southern. Driving the legs towards the line is denied by two metres. O'Donnell, short to Henry, back to Williams, and he's over. Blow the whistle, notify the scoreboard attendant, no need to check. It's all good for the Cowboys, who lead 20 points to 10. Well, the compressed defence from the Roosters, they couldn't get back there. Amos was calling them out, he just couldn't get the numbers in time. The strength to stand in the tackle. Good eye from the, the touchy here, Jeff Eunice right on top of it. Circus the lay, Ty Williams. Ian Millwood, he's riding every bit of it. Searching for his first win as the Cowboys coach. They call him Owen, because he's Owen 8 at the moment. <laughs> Poor Basil. Dean Lance there. Now you want to talk about defenders, and you want to talk about hard men. And that Raiders jersey. Was there any tougher defensively than Dean Lance? Four tries to two. And where's this form been? Where's this confidence been? Keeping in mind they're doing it without Jonathan Thurston, without the highlight reel Matty Bowen, no Matt Scott, no Jacob Lilliman, no Justin Smith. Williams just pushes this one to the left, doesn't have a big boot on him. John Williams, we go to the sideline with Stewart. Yeah, one of the areas that Freddie Fittler will certainly be concerned about is the Roosters' discipline. Four Cowboys tries have come on the back of penalties. They're giving them an easy leg out. They're not having to do the hard yards, and they're giving them good field position, and the Cowboys are making them pay. 14 matches this decade between these two clubs. The Roosters, 12. The Cowboys, just two victories. All the stats. Every stat imaginable points towards a Tricolours victory tonight. This is the Cowboys side playing with more enthusiasm than what they have in recent weeks. And with a lot more football, 59%. And when they've got the footy, they're holding on to it. 13 completed sets out of 16. Line breaks at four apiece. Sherrington involved in the tackle there with Orbison as the ball goes to Falmawina and to Luke O'Donnell. 
Did you expect Luke O'Donnell to play full 80 minutes here tonight? First game back in, in eight weeks. Oh, you'd leave it in his hands. I'm sure that the coaching staff would have spoke to him. And if he, look, he is a super athlete. So if his guess is going well, um, you know, you leave him out there, mate. You want your best players out there, and he's certainly one of them. Not such a bad result, I think, for the Cowboys at this point in time. Kicking the ball dead and forcing the 20-meter restart. Now, I know it's just the second day of August, and most of Australia is pretty cold and pretty wet. A beautiful day in Townsville that was bordering on hot, and it's, it's not a cool night out here at the moment. In fact, it is 27 degrees. This afternoon, probably sitting at about 22 now. So will fatigue play a part, Gordy? Because the Roosters haven't seen sunshine like this since probably January. Pull it out. Yeah, I think it's going to... I think it plays a part with your ball handling. I think that you sweat a fair bit more. They've come from pretty cool conditions down south for the last month or so, then they come up here and just the sweat on your jersey, that's what we always found even though we used to come up here from only from Brisbane we tend to sweat a fair bit more in the heat and it's pretty humid and I think that's probably the only thing that might get the get the Roosters, but their coaching staff is pretty professional. That was the Roosters' first penalty, it came after 37 minutes of football, the penalty count is 4-1. Big set for the Cowboys who are on their heels here. Good hands by Pierce. Likewise, Tupo takes it into the line and almost gets through but drops the ball. And an odd pass from Ray Cashman to Ben Vayu, just a metre out from his own line. Both big men under pressure. There's Steve Southern dislodging the ball there, but he was making the tackle. He wasn't making a play at the student. 20 metres out. That's safety first football here for the home side in this set of six. And a big Travis Burns right boot at the end of it. Here is the four in Harris. Value. Charging up over halfway, and I don't know if Brad Fitt will be overly happy about the easy metres available in that centre part of the field. As Burns goes down to Perrin on the right wing. Links with Grace, a good exchange there. Slides and ultimately falls under the weight of Big Ray Cashmere. Here's the five in Perrin. Just over a minute remaining. Can the Roosters do anything here in their final offensive set before half-time? Mason caught by Southern. Also caught by Vayu. Fitzgibbon. Crossfield to Anasta. This is once again Anthony Cherrington. Local junior. Roberts. The dummy half area. Soliola met in a very strong two-man tackle. Anasta, a monster bomb, and a big test at the back. Ashley Graham, it came off the forehead, went backwards, he beat Mitchell Pearce. And I think he actually thought about tossing the ball off the left hip to Ty Williams there. Well, not a noted fullback. You thought that the Roosters, in the, in, in the opportunities what they had earlier, it took them 39 minutes to test him out. Look like he had all sorts of trouble out of that ball as they call him back down. We leave him again. Penalty count 5 1 in favour of the home side. That is the siren sounding in the background. One final play for the Cowboys and a good touch finder from Travis Burns. They'll start right on halfway. And a work play being put on here. Found the winner bypass from O'Donnell. It goes to Henry. Tried to put boot to ball, but is tackled by his opposing number. And that is it. 40 minutes into this round 21 clash here at Dairy Farmers Stadium is an upset on the cards because it's the North Queensland Cowboys 20 leading the Sydney Roosters 10. And we are ready to get it underway. Second half action live around Australia on Fox Sports Super Saturday.
It is the Roosters and the Cowboys after 40 minutes. North Queensland lead 20 points to 10. And a nervous moment for the home side from the kickoff, getting dangerously close to the perimeter line. Are we going to see a more energetic, a more physical Roosters? A couple of inches to spare there for Ashley Graham. Great, great metres, it's Big Ben Vayu. And he's left James Orbison behind. Very slow Orbison. Now only just moving into the defensive line. Metres again good, tackle number four. And kicking early, the Cowboys are a sign of confidence. Trapped by Amos Roberts, probably not the kick Travis Burns wanted. And the ball comes free. It was a one-on-one -on -one tackle, a knock-on has been ruled. I mean... What a start for the Cowboys. Well, they've just muscled up. I don't know what Amos Roberts was doing there. One on one. Knocked the ball on, but the Cowboys' footwork, the big men, their offloads, they've just seemed to trouble the Roosters, even there in that set of six, the first set of six in the second half. The Roosters started the set great. Their first two tackles were very dominant. So little defence that the Cowboys had to do. They've only got two players in double figures, Dane Weston and centre, Ben Harris. This is Famawina in jersey number 12 for playing a traditional 5-8 role or second touch area role tonight. Aaron Payne in jersey 7 at dummy half. This is Burns on to Graham. There's an overlap here. It went to Harris who was... Well monitored there by his opposing number in Sia Soliola. The 15 is a game Western. He's seen the try line tonight, already got four points against his name. Two minutes into the second period. Here is Southern going solo to the line. Still pushing is Steve Southern and within a metre. Payne rockets the ball out to Famarina. Short ball to Cashmere. Off the football, Luke O'Donnell was taken out. Burns. A cross field. A kick without the depth. Harris almost. So close. Ben Harris had the football. Didn't have the footwork. So we go to the sideline with Stuart Raven for the halftime report. Yeah, I've got Jonathan Thurston down with me. He must have been a very positive dressing room. What was said in there? Yeah, well, so he's very happy with the halftime score and um, you know, he just wants us to keep playing up tempo and around the rucks. Aaron Payne just back at his, uh, his, his position at, at nine is certainly giving you plenty around the rucks. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've had a bit of second phase there and he's uh, capitalised on it. So, you know, just want to work to our kicks and uh, hopefully get him away. And the return of Luke O'Donnell also has been a big boost for the club. Yeah, definitely. You know, he's been out for seven weeks and, uh, you know, he's uh, playing pretty well tonight. I'm sure all the Cowboys fans want to know when, when are you due back? Uh, hopefully four weeks, three weeks. So, you know, still a while away. Let's see how we go. OK, mate, thanks very much. And uh, from the Roosters dressing room, uh, they certainly want them them to run at these guys. They want them to go forward. They're not happy with the way that they're taking the uh, the Cowboys line on. Tupo took the line on and almost popped his head through. A quick play the ball gives the Roosters the advantage. Off the melon and the sizeable melon of Ray Cashmere it was. And it rebounded safely into the hands of one of his teammates. Here is Cashmere now taking it forward. A student print in the side of his head. But well, we saw Michael Crocker get knocked out in the way in the state of origin. L3, move it now. Can't help that he's six foot five. And no one has joked with Michael Crocker about that since. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't think the modern day version of Bulldog Brow would take too kindly to it. Burns a cross field to Famarina. Over the top to Ty Williams. Pass was looped over. It left him with no other option but to come in field. Burns to the air. Challenged by Orbison. He was under pressure. Allowed to bounce. Spat back. And another chance. With the football. Anasta is there at the back. And Anasta is out. Good awareness, good work from Braith and Astor. Likewise here, 
from the five in Sam Perry. Links up with Soliola. It's on here for the Roosters if they're good enough. This is Orbison. Mitchell Orbison on the outside to Amos Roberts. He changes direction. Spits the ball back inside. A centenary special, that one. What a Roosters try. Mitchell Pierce finished it off. It was 100 metres of tricolour magic. Well, Braith and Nasta, this is a game of inches. Braith and Nasta show so much strength to get out of there. Go to... <laughs> and what a counterpunch. This is Sam Perrett. No, no room there. Links up with his blokes. In the... <laughs> it's just a great try. Just blokes in motion. When the ball got the Roberts, he thought he was going to have too much speed, which he did. He'd come back on the inside. Look at Pierce. this for halfback play from Mitchell Pierce. Has plenty of pace himself and happily collects his first career double. Just counter punching at its best. The Roosters, the Cowboys, they're all under pressure. Doesn't that release the pressure? Braith and Nasta. Gone from a repeat set of six. Yeah. To get the... Pierce scored it. Roberts set it up. Most of the team was involved. Most important man in the move was 100 metres back. It was their number six, Braith and Astor. Craig Fitzgibbon adds the extras, and we have a four-point game with over half an hour remaining. It is 20 points to 16. Lost their last six at home at the North Queensland Cowboys. Lost a couple of thrillers here oh, over the course of the year to the Penrith Body Panthers, kisser. to the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And we restart play. Here is Paya. Bang and through. A bump off from Lapini Paya on the inside. Had Braith and Astor decided to take the fullback on himself. The 18 is Mickey Paya. One brother to another. Wrong decision it was, Braith and Nasta. Mitchell Pearce grabbing a crossfield short ball for Willie Mason. He is dragged to the ground by Ray Cashmere. Pearce to Fitzgibbon. Short side movement here. And shuffled in the touch. Great desperate defence from the Cowboys. Tell you what, they're going to gain here at Dairy Farmers tonight. Well, every time the Roosters have gone back down the short side, the Cowboys have summed it up. They've gone over the sideline a couple of times. Great defence, the Cowboys, but the Roosters, when they go forward, when they start running direct, when they run with a bit of passion, right, don't they look dangerous? Paya, once again. What about Lapuni Paya? The interest he runs with the ball. I want to have a charge off between him and Jeff Lima. <laughs> and Fooey Fooey and Carmichael Hunt. Just throw Carmichael Hunt in there. Yeah, these two, this bloke's got Carmichael by about 15 kegs, I would imagine. But, well, that's what makes Carmichael so special when he does charge into it. Penalty here offside is the call. Offside no, is the call. Early, no, all break early. Penalty early, count 6-1 in favour of the home side. Breaking early and in front of the mark. Two rulings from Sean Hampstead. We saw the Roosters punch. Now can the Cowboys counter punch? This is Kashmir. Good ball movement here from the Cowboys. Graham had two men on his outside, and the Roosters are happy to show the three quarter line the sideline. Foul Mawina. Dummies, steps, then takes the ball to ground. Tackle number three to Burns. Midfield, the runner is Harlan. Options on both sides. Which way will Aaron Payne go? Near side he comes. Vayu is used as the dummy. They go to Steve Southern. Back to Aaron Payne. He scoops it back. They lost 10 metres on that last play. So then they go to Travis Burns. Was everybody on side? A scramble for the football. Knocked back, I what? think, will be the call. 
That'll be the last tackle, just check that. Just going upstairs to check with our video referee, Tim Manda. No disputing a try here, I just think the referee is looking at how we're going to restart this. Was it a knock-on? Everyone appears onside, Gordon, for mine. Yeah, if there's any doubt, it's over Luke O'Donnell. He stays 10 metres away from the football, but he's inside the 10 metres. Do you rule that as a Ty Williams knock-on? I think it's a restart. I think it's a restart to the Roosters 20 metres there. I think it's so, a knock -on. so you're saying a knock-on? Yeah, knock on. I would tend to agree because I think they both challenged for the ball. No, they have ruled the Roosters grounded the ball. There was no knock-on committed. So it's a goal line dropout, and the visitors remain on their heels. Well, I think Amos Roberts probably had first grab at the football. His hands were on the inside of Ty Williams. To say that Ty Williams didn't get any of that football correct. is a pretty is a, big statement. I was wondering where you were going with that, Gordy. Is a, <laughs> it's a big statement. It's not what you'd say sitting at home on the lounge, but it's a pretty big statement nonetheless. <laughs> Here's Payne. The foul Marina to O'Donnell already has a try tonight. Chaired by Willie Mason and Mitchell Pearce. And a penalty, a penalty to the There's Roosters. The mark there. You went over there to play the ball, took the markers out of play. You can't do it, Luke. You can't do it. There's the mark there. You went over there. Luke O'Donnell trying to figure that one out. A lateral move in the play of the ball. We've seen penalties regularly for stepping off the mark as far as going north-south is concerned. Luke O'Donnell moved across the field. You heard the referee say to take the markers out of play, but Willie Mason moved with him. Little confused there. No comment. I know you're confused, Gordy. Oh, I'm always confused, Andy, but... I know, I know that you're still tr trying to figure out why the alphabet song and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star are the same tune. Here is Mitchell Pearce. Into Craig Fitzgibbon, tackled right on halfway. Just a four-point game under 40 minutes, from, under half an hour, should I say, remaining in this one. Orbison, he just continues to impress Mitchell Orbison. Doesn't get the raps of his more high-profile teammates. Now the Cowboys here defending with just 12 men. Perrett Soliola out to Gross. We've got a Cowboy down in the back play. This is the final play. Anasta pops it across field. There are Roosters there en masse. Mitchell Pearce is going to claim a hat trick. Just check the onside, that'll be the last tackle. Mark Henry is the Cowboys player down in back play, in fact, in a bad way. And Junior Junior, if you like, may very well have come up with number three for the night. Offside out wide. Already we're looking at the grounding. Look, it's really hard to say from the angle of the of what the camera showed us. That's off the shoulder, I would suggest, to Craig Fitzgibbon. And then he caught it just a little bit in front of Craig In Fitzgibbon. front of. Still can't see if the hand, I think, of Amos Roberts has come into contact with the footy before the shoulder of Craig Fitzgibbon. I think it has gone from Fitzgibbon I think to Mitchell Pearce, who was in front. Look, I don't like looking for reasons not to give, yep. give it a try, but if I was going to say anything, maybe the ball travelled forward off... It's given. If not, Mitchell Pierce has got a hat trick. And try it is. And the body language of the players is always a, a pretty good indication as we have a look at Mark Henry coming from the field, and he's not exactly sure where he is. 
but the Roosters had already come back to near halfway. The Cowboys had remained in goal. They thought it was a try. And again, a beautifully weighted kick from Brayton Astor just before the try line. Applies the pressure to the defensive side. Three to nine for Mitchell Pearce. Now, ben Har uh, Mark Henry has come from the field. They've got a tailor-made replacement who hasn't seen football tonight in Ben Farrah. He'll shift straight into the centres for, for Ian Millwood. And not since early in the game have the Roosters led. They are about to. Four tries apiece, the difference, a goal to Craig Fitzgibbon. 22 points to 20 sideline with Stewart. And I'll tell you where Mark Henry is, he's in Disneyland. They've taken him straight to the dress room. He does look real good. You'll notice the referees have got black armbands on from the passing of uh, an old time referee who refereed a number of games, Laurie Brewers. And the goals just go out to his family. Yeah, not only from the referees and those of us at Fox Sports from the wider rugby league community to our thoughts and prayers with the family. Here is the locomotive, Lapini Paya. The big bluey southern just shows him how to do it. Just great technique. Tackle around the football or just underneath the football in the rib cage. Carl Webb, combination with Steve Southern. This is the four in Soliola. They're playing a more urgent brand of football. And they're playing it with power. Mitchell Pierce downfield. This will be a 40-20 if it finds the line. It doesn't. Ty Williams flings it across field to Ashley Graham. What about the chase from the Roosters? 12 of them down there to greet the defense, to greet the attackers on the 10-metre line. Well, it's just the intensity. The Roosters have picked up their intensity and the Cowboys have got to go with them. The Cowboys can't have their head down. A couple of decisions might have gone against them. But keep on playing the way out. Throw the football around. Get in the dummy half. Try to throw some unloads. A little bit of caution into the wind. As Kashmir makes a great charge. That's what I'd be doing. Sydney Roosters have been outscored in the second half nine times this season. For a side... Up in the top four, not a good statistic as far as their second half performances are concerned. Satan due respect and nothing kicked from the Cowboys there and straight away Moss Roberts, who would probably be the last person on the park you want to kick it directly to. Good on! Solid contact there made on young Kiwi Sammy Perrett. Fitzgibbon, the old stager. 28 tackles for Craig Fitzgibbon. The Peeney Payer is next for the Roosters. He has 17. He continues to improve, Craig Fitzgibbon. This is the 18 in Mickey Payer. Last tackle, last tackle, 45 metres game for the Roosters. Pierce. Changes direction with the kick and goes across his body to Ty Williams, now to Ashley Graham. They keep the ball moving, find John Williams. Was that high? No, says our referee. Graham to Ben Harris. Flung to the ground by Soliola. This is Ashley Graham. Trying to catch the markers there, Graham, not being square. There's Carl Webb. Spits it out the back to Payne. Over the 14 on Ben Farrah. And a push to the left-hand side through Ray Cashmere. That's a bit better for the Cowboys. That's what they dominated with in the opening 40 minutes. They dominated with go forward in the middle of the park. Falmawina. Pops it over the top. A challenge here. And Roberts. Roberts accepts the pass from the Cowboys who were en route to the try line. Well, you can't do that if you haven't got speed. Amos Roberts, they had to come up because the Cowboys had the numbers down the short side. Made a little chip over the top. Great little play by Falmawina. 
Luke O'Donnell the no look pass. Was it a better play kicking the ball and continuing? Mate, when you're a back row, mate, you're just happy to be there. <laughs> Look, he did a great job after being there for seven weeks and getting there for the play. Tupo, Tupo gets the ball on the outside to Soliola. Effective tackle from Ben Harris. Gross to Pierce. They are winning the arm wrestle here, the Roosters. They've been forced to grind. John Williams wrapped up by the kicker, Mitchell Pierce. He started it and finished it. Now it's Ashley Gray trying to spot Pierce in the defensive line there. And he bumped off the little number seven. O'Donnell, whose numbers have been modest tonight. I would suggest keeping some in reserve for the back end. He doesn't want to gas up. Good tackle by the 20 in James Orbison. Ty Williams. Taking it into the line, doing it by himself. Steve Southern comes from the field. Dane Weston back into action. This is Travis Burns. Pumps it downfield, but again, straight to the man at the back and straight to Sam Perry. This is a penalty to the Cowboys. You could clearly hear the referee. We don't always agree with the man in the middle, but you can hear the referee saying, hell, play it there on one. Well, it's such a contest at every play the ball now. You can hear it here, Gordy. Let's listen to our referee. Hell one. Move it now. <laughs> Sam Perrot almost gave hell, himself up hell. by... But if he plants the I ball down, hell. his elbows haven't touched the ground, so hell. it's not a tackle. It's not a completed tackle. I'm just saying that it's such a competition, it's such... Look, it's a contest in there, and he's fighting to get every metre and fighting to get put on his back, and he twists out of it, and he keeps on running, and he gets... I think he should just be made to go back and play the football. Harlan took the first one up. This is Kashmir running into Shillington and Orbison. An hour goes by. Two points in the game. Falmawina. Falmawina stretches out. He misses by a metre. Roosters are short on the right-hand side. The Cowboys go to the left, and that is urgent for Mitchell Pearce. Up into the face of Luke O'Donnell very quickly. Webb taking it to the line. Big Charlie! They continue the movement. Looking for an inside runner. Was that high from Soliola? It certainly was. It's a shame because Soliola's defended well out here. On the left-hand side for the Roosters, he's come up when he's had to. Big guy, about 102 kilos. Doesn't go in too lightly either. Yeah. Just crept up a little bit there. Roosters again on their heels. They restart for the second time in 60 seconds through the 18 in Luke Harlan. Has an opportunity through injury. Carl Webb to the line. Now backing it in. O'Mealy, Fitzgibbon and Orbison. Triple team. The Queensland and Australian front row. Short ball from Burns. O'Donnell was on the end of it. Found the winner. Inside once again to Harlan. Slammed to the ground, Fitzgibbon. Making tackle 36 for this evening. Short ball to Carl Webb. Bushes off Fitzgibbon. Webb going across field. Confusion and taken by Willie Mason. The execution and the confusion has let down the Cowboys. Yeah, well, a little bit of panic came into the back end of that set of six there by the Cowboys. Carl Webb come across. 40 to one load. Luke O'Donnell was hitting hold of miscommunication. But oh, geez, it's good signs like when Luke O'Donnell hit that short ball there, the only thing they were lacking is Roberts. Yeah. Roberts to Soliala. The movement slowed down. He is the ball went behind the number four, the left centre. He was forced to stop and prop. Now it goes to Anasta across field. Flat ball to Pierce. Inside to Shillington. And 34 metres or 33 metres out from the try line. Again, they go to their seven. Inside to Captain Fitzgibbon. 
Now to Orbison. Last tackle for the Tricolours. A gain of 71 metres. Easy metres for the visitors. Pierce goes across field. Tupo has come down with it, and it's been stripped on the way down, so the Cowboys survive. Well, I can both of them had a crack at the ball. Tupo had it, Williamson had it, and Tupo got it back, and Williamson got it back. Just competing in the air. But what I was saying before, when Luke O'Donnell runs the gap, the only thing, there it is there. They both had a go at the ball. He stole it. It's like the old chicken scratch. Bunny scrum, if you like. <laughs> But when Luke O'Donnell runs that gap just on the fringes, when Matty Bowen swings around and just makes the overlap, that's what the Cowboys are lacking. Last tackle. And again from Travis Burns, a kick to one of the men at the back on the full. And he's so deep. Yeah. Thelma Wiener show that there's a little bit of success if you can chip it over the top. Well, the Roosters come up so quickly defensively. There's always that option if you're, if you're game enough, if you're brave enough. O'Neill oh, to the line. Now, we spoke earlier about what Roosters, uh, what Cowboys are unavailable. Unavailable for the Roosters tonight. Anthony Minicello, Sedamata Sarr, Sean Kenny Dow, Frank Paul Nuasala. And big Nate Miles. First four suspended, uh, injured, the last one suspended. Seeing a bit of talent to come back. As Pierce goes to the air. Ty Williams drops it behind him to Ashley Graham. He runs into Perrett. Also, there is Shillington. 20 metres out, again, forced to do the dirty work of the Cowboys. They've still had an amazing 57% of the football as we move into the 65th minute of this game. Burns across here. Graham. Soliola raced up, was looking to put a big shot on. Again, they persist. With this near side. Backwards. The ruling from our referee Sam Perrin. Almost no energy, and he was pegged there by O'Donnell. There's been a game of, of a quicker pace, Gordon. Just the four scrums, and the Roosters have knocked it on here. Brett Grace is trying to pass. I think he's trying to pass the football off the ground. I oh, know he lost it in the tackle. This is the opportunity for the Cowboys, if not get a repeat set. Interesting little exchange between Willie Mason and Travis Burns off the scrum there. A little fight for the football. In the back row from the Roosters, they want to rest here. They're not going to pack just yet. They do. Payne. Now to Graham. Making the Cowboys a forward just to settle things down here. And play a control brand of footy. Keep the Roosters on the back foot. They may not need to because Payne lunges. Kashmir a dummy half to Webb. It's on. It's on for the Cowboys who drop it. Ben Harris has spilled it. Early count. Well, it's the right option by Carl Webb. He threw the cutout pass. It was a great ball, but take the tackle. You didn't catch the ball out in front of you. You didn't catch it in the hands. You juggled it a little bit. That's the experience of taking the tackle. You don't have to score off every play. That's what costs you. Willie Mason and the Cougar, Ronnie Palmer. Oh, doesn't he love it? Jeez, I'd love to look at his stats at the game time he gets every week. He'd be up there with the best, wouldn't he? The Iron Man of the NRL. He's not up there with, with Jeff Turvey. <laughs> or he doesn't give the same sprays as Jeff Turvey. <laughs> OK, the Roosters forced to work it out from the back end of their own field as Ronnie Palmer gets a, a rest, a rare rest. And 
Mealy. Met a good solid tackle. Front on it was Ben Harris. And with the assist, it was from now. Shillington carries forward. Over the 30 metre line, Mitchell Pierce on the right hand side. That's where they go. And a third tackle kick downfield. And he has got plenty on this Mitchell Pierce to Ashley Graham, who gets back to within about six metres of his own try line. Gets through the tackle of Pierce. Craig Fitzgibbon gets a rest. Why not? 37 tackles, eight hit ups, and one offload. Well, I think the Cowboys quicker, man. Look, they've got to come in because the Roosters, but they've got to take them on up the middle. Yeah. The big Roosters guys, they're starting to drop their head a little bit. They're starting to lumber along. Put little plays on the rough. That's where your best player is in Aaron Payne, your most creative player. Play off him. Carl Webb did just that. Now Ray Cashmere plans to do the same. They've got some big boppers on the field at the moment, the Cowboys. Here is Aaron Payne taking over kicking duties, but the same result again. It must be frustrating for you Cowboys supporters, or those supporting against the Roosters anyway. They've given them far too many three metres at the back. Uh, the, like the playing the theory, the more you catch the the better chance you've got to drop on one. <laughs> we'll catch up with you eventually. Yeah. Webb with a good shot there. On Tupo, who somehow manages to get his arms free. And nearly takes him to the ground. Nine metres short of halfway. 11 minutes remain, just a two-point game. As Willie Mason takes it forward off the end of a Mitchell Pierce pass. Play four. Side again, it is Shillington who's had a good night. Last tackle, Pierce to the air and end over end, so not too much of a test here for John Williams. Secured over the top by Sammy Perrett. Let's go down to the sideline with Stewart. You think Travis Bird might take a bit of lesson from the way that the Roosters are doing their last tackle plays. They're mixing it up. They're putting it on the ground. They're putting the high kicks up. It's allowing the chase to get up there and put some pressure on the Cowboys. They're only getting their legs up by penalties, and they're not getting any field position. When they are, their options haven't been great as well. Here is big Shane Tronk. Well, they've got to really fight hard here, the Cowboys. get a couple, couple of quick play the balls. They go to Travis Burns inside the 40. Has it come off the edge? It has. Fourth tackle, got a scrum. Now we're going to pack a scrum on the 40 metre line. As Carl Webb makes his way to the sideline. And maybe that's good news for Travis Burns. I wouldn't want to be Burns out there with the front rowers barking at him at the moment. He's had a poor night with the right boot. Well, he has. The only time he's found the grass was when it went out on the full, but not being a kicker myself. <laughs> but, you know, you got... Look, the Roosters are very deep. you just got to mix your kicking game up. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can't always go long, and it's fair to say he is the only option for the Cowboys, or the main one. Aaron Payne did a couple out of there and Bayama Wiener. Just over nine minutes remaining. Do the Cowboys deserve a victory tonight? Or have the Roosters done enough? Orbison in 20. Offloads to Lapini Payer. Back to Orbison. Over the 20 metre line to Mitchell Pearce. Third man ball to Brayton Astor who steps off the left and pivots and is caught and secured 12 metres out from the try line. Crossfield goes James Orbison. Willie Mason. Mason secures the victory, you would think, for the Roosters. They have grinded tonight. It has not been their best performance of the year. They have come back from 10 points down, and Mason with a short ball. Just too big, too strong. Well, that's what you want your marquee players to do. Just hit another short ball, Willie Mason. But he goes, he does it all himself. Get out of my road. He's happy. They've done a lot of work tonight, the Roosters. The gas cart in the football, they wouldn't have many. Brad Fittler, he's happy. He knows that they haven't played their best. This is what the good sides do in the competition. They had a big performance last week. They got up, they come off a couple of big losses. 
a tremendous performance against Manly, but they've backed it up here tonight. They haven't played their best, but they've got a victory. Amos Roberts, goal kicking in the absence of Craig Fitzgibbon, who has had about a four-minute rest, and he's ready to come back on on the sidelines in front of their bench. So Amos gets a chance, has already kicked eight goals this year. And I'd love it if they were all this easy, 10 metres back, just a couple off centre. Flags go up. Amos Roberts adding the extras, an eight-point game, 28-20. And Big Willie gets a rest. Craig Fitzgibbon back onto the field. Almost like Oztag or touch footy, you score a try and you get hauled. Is that a good game tonight, Mason? 22 tackles, six hit ups, and the try. Short kick off from the Cowboys, and knocked on it was. Listen, Willie, he just has a massive impact. As the Cowboys now, the urgency comes back in. No, no, into no, their no, side. No, no. Time blown off here. The advantage was played here. We've seen this rule, and is it taking the advantage or having an advantage? If so, is it territorial or time with the football? Or how do you determine when an advantage has been taken or played? It was deemed that it has by our referee. And the Cowboys who trail by eight with six and a half remaining. Still showing urgency, still showing plenty of motor. 15 is Weston, has had a good game tonight. More tackles than any of his teammates. Payne to Burns. Famalina, good short ball to O'Donnell. Great gap running from Luke O'Donnell. Great Didn't touch it. Here's Tronk winding up. Trying to push his way to the line. And again, the Roosters appear short on this near side. Burns steps. Not going to get past O'Mealy, nor Shillington. 31 metres gain. Last tackle. Last chance, perhaps. Found the winner. O'Donnell and a forward ball there from Farrah. The intentions were right. The execution let them down at the end. Well, how hard the Roosters rush up and in. You've got to, you've got to hold your speed. You've got to be deeper. The Cowboys, the Roosters have put so much pressure. Their defence, it rushes you. It makes you do things under pressure. It reminds me of the way the Bulldogs used to defend. In the early 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. Twenty-one to nine, as far as the missed tackles are concerned, in this second half, and it's been a half dominated by Sydney Roosters. They nearly a cross field. The Cowboys were pleading for a shepherd there. There was no obstruction. Anasta, just outside the 40-metre line. To Graham, back on the 10-metre zone. Great controlled aggression. It's James Orbison in 20, leading the charge there. Well, it's like having two, two Sean Berrigans out there. I used to watch Sean Berrigan. He competed no matter what position you put him in. He used to get there. He's like a little terrier. Well, the Roosters have two of them. These, these Or Orbison brothers, they're just great to watch. Do everything 100 miles an hour. O'Donnell taking it to the line, and again it's Orbison. James with Mitchell Pierce over the top. Fourth tackle here for the Cowboys. Burns easily taken and easily read by O'Mealy. Found the wiener. High he goes. The lottery ball, if you like. Spat back to Harris. Who kicks downfield and dead. And dead it goes. Just over three minutes remaining. 
as we look to next week for both of these two sides. And you can dissect it any way you like, but uh, it could well be a battle for the wooden spoon at Suncorp Stadium next Saturday night. Cowboys and the Bulldogs. And look, we love talking it up. And we try to talk every game, every team and every player up as much as possible each and every week. But next week we've got a battle for the wooden spoon. And you know what? It could very well be a cracker. For the Roosters, a date with the Parramatta Eels at the SFS. And as round 22 NRL action. And of course, as always, you can see every game, every week on your sports leader, Fox Sports. Here go the Roosters. Cherrington, he had support inside. He had support outside. But his eyes lit up. He wanted his first try of the year. And Nasta. Wide and deep as Pierce steps inside to Orbison. He steps, gets around Southern. James Orbison has lost the football. Just put the shimmy, shimmy, swoosh on. Can he get there? Yeah, lost the footy. And Aaron Payne's been a great performer for the Cowboys tonight. Cowboys. But the Roosters, the Roosters the I reckon they bombed a couple tonight. Yep. Support on the inside there. It was going to be a try. Support on the outside, it's a try. Sherrington backed to himself. Well, you know, like you like your young players backing themselves as they do. You like them showing confidence. But I'm sure Mr. Fittler, Coach Fittler, will be having a quiet word with him on Tuesday at training. No, and Freddie, it will be a quiet word. It'll be a, a positive word, a positive message. But straight to the point. But straight to the point. You're exactly right. Unlucky 13 for the Cowboys. 13 successive losses. Roosters with the footy. Shillington, the big front rower, threw the dummy and tried to sidestep. It was all too much. The three outside him. Here is Pierce putting it on the ground, and that's a try to the Roosters. It's a try to Famous Amos. Check the onside there. He's got it down, The speed that Amos Roberts shows here, I don't know what Blue Southern's coming over. Well, they're claiming it. The brother handshake. That's what looking at. Try it is. 32 points to 22 converted tries. The difference and the news just gets worse. For the North Queensland Cowboys, you can see a player down in the foreground there. Amos Roberts scoring the try. It was green-lighted by our video ref, Tim Mander. But Luke O'Donnell has just been taken from the field and immediately to the dressing room with what appeared a very serious shoulder injury. He looked in a great deal of discomfort. Late in the game, it would be a nightmare if the Cowboys lost their star second rower for an extended period of time. A scoreless second half for the home side, Gordy. It was an improved performance for 
65, 70 minutes. It's Craig Fitzgibbon lines it up. He has three from four so far tonight. The same Moss Roberts also slotted one. No. Just pushes it out to the right. And there is the siren. 80 minutes of football. And the Sydney Roosters. They consolidate their spot in the all-important top four. The Cowboys, that is 13 successive losses. The Roosters have run out victors 32 points to 20.